Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics, 101. So we have this sick little feller, and he's got a big old lump. And that's not normal. And it's been like that a little longer than I wanted to, but it's just been a while since I could get to him. And uh, we gotta lance that, try to clean it out and see what's going on down there. Right. So what we have, the little, uh, what is that, pine salt and water, honey? Yeah. Just disinfecting my hands. And then we're going to disinfect the lump here, too. Give me a little more of that. Well, that thing is the size of a good football. Okay. We're going to lance that. Now, the jugular is way up in here, so it's not the biggest deal. I'm just gonna take this. Give me that water again, hon. Okay, he's gonna push me over here. Move it, move that. That smells really bad. Infection. Uh, I don't think he's. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have a fever or anything. But this guy here has been dwarfed ever since he was little. I don't know what his deal is. Um, he's two years old and the size of a calf. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I think he's going to have to get. Uh, Put it in our freezer, our personal freezer, for a little bit of hamburger. But yeah, most of that's gonna go away. There's some tough stuff. All this is, is vitamin. And it goes right into the bloodstream. Awesome, awesome stuff. I'm gonna give them like a super dose of 10 cc's, which is way more than they recommend, but the truth is, is he needs all the help he can get. I, uh, I've had this tray for a long time. It says, be angry and sin not, Ephesians 4, 26. And uh, one day I was angry and I kicked this across my Quonset and broke the handle off. Well, a couple years later, I made a new handle for it, which ended up turning up being better than the original handle by a whole lot. I've had that tray for a long time. It kind of gets mistreated and and uh, etc. But for surgeries and things like that, a lot of tagging stuff I, I keep in here. Uh, but a lot of meds, etc. goes in in that little tray. The tire mat I made, my son and I. And uh, yeah, that's that's what she looks like. And that just creates no holes. Otherwise, you work in here, your cow is coming out, will end up making a big hole there. And this here just stops the erosion. Dogs usually clean up whatever is icky. <laughs> Pretty nasty. Now an abscess, if it's left to its own, will eventually turn to bone. It'll turn so hard, it's like bone. And it turns into a cancer. And that, that an abscess, lump jaw is commonly referred to, will turn to a type of bone. And now I have got a, co a year or two out of a cow like that, but the, I mean, it is painful. What causes abscesses can be a number of different things. They can be poked uh, by a nail, who knows what, uh, really, just even a stick. It's an infection, 
And if that's not drained, it will, all that, that pus and stuff and whatever's in there will turn to rock hard bone and just destroy the skull of that animal or jaw of that animal. I mean, it just eats away at that bone. And it, I I like to refer to it as like a type of cancer. You can see clearly here what I'm talking about. And it's just not fair to an animal. And sometimes in big range country, it's hard to get to. An animal that may be suffering, you just sometimes just aren't able to get to them in time. Uh, but most of the time you can. And you can rope them and you can take care of this. Um, this is the way I work on them. I'm not a veterinarian. Folks, love you all. I hope this helps you. If you have cattle, if you have livestock, you will have dead stock. Until next time, this is Luke Simons. May the Lord guide and keep you. Happy trails.